friends, this is Teresa from Simply Made Fun, and today I am going to show you how to use the subtract tool in your Silhouette software to make really fun, interesting designs for your projects. For this project, I'm making my toddler a Halloween tote bag um, with a Mickey spider on it, or a Mickey head with a spider web on it. Okay. So I have all the images that I need in my software. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take the spider web and put it on top of your Mickey head. Okay. And so I just kind of play around with it to see where I like it. And um, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. I kind of like uh, the web coming down further into Mickey's face. So, I think that looks good. Okay, once you've got the spider web where you want it, you're going to uh, select both of the images and come over into your toolbar and hit open modify panel. Then you're going to hit subtract all. Sometimes it takes a second and then once it's done, you'll pull the spider web away and you see this nice intricate design um, on Mickey's head. Whenever you use the subtract tool, whatever image, it, image you're subtracting from like your main image, so in this case the spider web, that image needs to be on top because if I had had the spider web underneath Mickey, it would have subtracted Mickey from the spider web. Wouldn't have worked. So always make sure that the image you are subtracting is on top. Okay, now what I want to talk to you about quickly is um, cutting multiple colors in a design. So for me, the Mickey head is going to be one color and the um, text down here is going to be a different color. So this text I actually got from Corey George from Hey Let's Make Stuff and I will link where I got it from in the description below. Okay, so once you get your design sized how you want it, it looks right, and you're ready to cut, you will come over to send. And now we're going to figure out how to cut two different colors. So I have the designer edition for the Silhouette software, which means I can actually cut by fill color. It makes it super easy. So if I just wanna cut Mickey, I deselect the other two and cut the black and then I come back in when I'm ready and I cut the green. Um, if you do not have the designer edition, you'll come over to simple and what you do is you'll select, let's say the text first and hit no cut and then you'll go ahead and cut your Mickey and then when you're ready to cut the text, you'll come back and hit cut for this and no cut for Mickey. It's actually not really that complicated to do it this way if you don't have the designer edition. It just takes a few extra um, steps. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will answer them and get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks for tuning in and I will see y'all later. Bye.